<laughs> All right, here we go. Hello, everyone. Hello. Welcome to the Top Cut Network. We got a good matchup today. We got Jordan Van Heesh versus Jeremy Adams. Uh, Jordan decided to pick up uh, Jump Fluff, and uh, Jeremy Jeremy put. Uh, oh, what are the rules? Um, Gyarados. It was uh, no, no support. No, no trainer no supporter trainer stadium. stadiums. Turn one. Winner has to. Winner flips has to go first. Yep. <clears throat> Yes, quite an interesting rule change, especially compared to now. <clears throat> this one going second was actually uh, beneficial. Beneficial. The old rare candy rule was in play. Mm-hmm. Well, apparently, your your mic's very muffled. Uh oh. Well, that might be because of the mask. Yep. You know, it's got to be safe out here. Well, um, T Cap, we appreciate you. Is that any better? All good. We good? I think I think we're okay. All right. Very exciting match here, Jump Up versus Gyarados. It's gonna be a pretty back and forth matchup. You definitely should have won second. <laughs> there is a. <laughs> There is a good possibility that you might get donked. <laughs> but we will see. Uh, Jeremy starting off with a Bebe search. Looking at his hand. Going for Sableye would probably be a thing to do, I think. Uh, oh, unknown Q. 10. Wonder if he's got the plus power. Yep. Oh, it's 20. It's 20. Yeah, that's right. Oh, no. He's going to go ahead for the setup. Yep, it makes sense. Going for the safer play, for sure. Yeah, he doesn't really have a follow up, so might as well get ahead. Yeah, <laughs> or that. Oh, yeah. I forgot Sable I had. <laughs> yep, forgot Sable I had that. Whoops. GG, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> so game one is in the books. We're going to have to let you guys play another game. <laughs> well, I don't think you get to choose. It's the winner has to go first. Right. Oh, yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, I remember playing this. All right, looks like Jeremy's actually out to win some games here today. <laughs> I remember being disappointed about winning a flip. All right. All right, we're going to do a two out of three match on this one. Since yeah. that first one ended before it began. The donks, bro, the donks. <laughs> oh, yeah, he had the nuts, bro, if you won second. <laughs> Man. You can't win if Hop Ip's in the discard pile, buddy. No easy buckets, bro. Oh, that's All right. a cool one. Ooh. Okay. If I remember correctly, Unknown Q has free retreat, right? Yep, free retreat. Yep. All right. Well, it's a decent starter. No. Uh, yeah, it does have free retreat, yeah. 30 hit points. Uh-oh. Do we have another basic on on Jeremy's side? Jump Fluff is un, is also one of those decks that can just go off. So yep. <laughs> there's a very real possibility of um, Jeremy being donked. But it looks like he has an Azelf, which is good. And he's able to get that Magic Arp out of the prizes. Yes, that one of Combi is literally just there to bring Magikarp out of the discard pile. <laughs> no other. <laughs> yeah. Under trainer lock. Under trainer lock, right. Because we have Pokemon Rescue to uh, do it otherwise. Right. Ooh, the rearrangement of prizes, you know. Totally legal, and it's pro strat, man. Back in the day, we yeah. used to use the uh, the reference rule when we were playtesting. 
instead of writing everything down. We mm. used to be able to take uh, take notes on our prizes and stuff back in that time. And uh, instead of taking those notes on the prizes, we would just uh, reference the prizes every time we were able to take one. Um, mm -hmm. Clearly, I learned that that is not something legal in tournament play. <laughs> I learned that very quickly. Uh, I had a judge call us on it one time, and uh, it didn't end well. But oh, man. Yeah, we definitely can't be referencing in tournaments. But things like this will probably allow them to reference instead of taking notes. Right. I mean, this is just mostly for fun. Low stake stuff. <clears throat> Jordan has that oopsie. <laughs> so oopsie for three. Oopsie will be better than Shaman EX ever was. Jordan has to pass. That's awful Ooh, for jump block. Darn. You can't give your opponent too many turns. You gotta set up as quickly as possible with this deck. Mm -hmm. Especially with a bow toy active. That's uh that's the big draw power, possibly going down the drain. I think Jordan may have made a mistake here by not dropping the second bow toy from his hand. Um if Jeremy's able to capitalize and hit the uh knock out that active bow toy, mm -hmm. it would force Jordan to have the broken time space in addition to the bow toy, you know, the second bow toy and the clay doll in hand in order to set it to for draw. Yeah, it's very good point. Um, I would assume if you had broken time space, that would have been laid, that would have been laid down immediately. Because uh, Gyarados doesn't really need, especially the position that Jeremy's in, Gyarados doesn't need to take advantage of the broken time space until mid to late game. Exactly. <laughs> and, um... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yep. Jeremy's Jeremy. going crazy here. Yep, and Jeremy only needs two magic carps. Doesn't need the whole three to knock out this active Altoy. But actually, with double Crobat, you'd only need one. One magic carp and discard. That's easy buckets. <clears throat> uh, last play, two on the hoppets. Or... You could also go after the Hoppets as well. That is definitely another line of play. <clears throat> that would be insane if uh, Jeremy could uh -oh. get the knockout on both. Oh, he man, it. he got it. I'm not sure. I think I would have just picked yeah, up I think the Crobat I just and knocked out the Hoppets. The hoppets. Yeah. But... Um, if I remember correctly, Crobat only poisons the active, correct? Or, or badly poisons it? Yeah, if you're attacking with Crobat, you might as well scoop it up anyway. <laughs> yep. Oh, well played. Yep. Uh oh. Set up for five? Yeah. Oh. See if he gets a, if uh, Jeremy gets a pokey turn. Oh, he got another super scoop up. Ooh, and a tails this time. 50 50. You live by the sword, you die by the sword. Yep. Uh oh. Uh oh. Maybe he accidentally <laughs> went to punch it. <laughs> this is a bit of an awkward situation because now he, um, Jeremy can't retreat into the Sableye. Uh, he can free up a bench space by using Unknown Quick. Uh oh. But mm, unfortunately, that's a bit of a lost tempo for Jeremy, I think. Card land. Six. Good. All right. Uh, okay. Well, now Jordan has an opportunity to protect that Hoppip. I still well, don't know why he's not laying the broken time space. Yeah. It's um, definitely in hand. Might as well, right? I think he could attach to the Baltoy here. Yeah, and right. Psychic and... balance. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he could have psychic balance for one. Yep. <clears throat> if he could have laid the broken time space attached to the Baltoy, he could have gotten two cards. Mm hmm. For sure. Yeah, it's important. Yeah. Level up? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it would have been nice to have a pokey turn. 
um, to pick up that crow bath and then bring up the oxy to level up and then quick. Yeah, very quick. Yes. But uh, see, this is this is interesting um, because if if Jordan somehow gets a jump buff, which definitely could happen, um, then that oxy is just gone. Um, super scooping it up would not be great. Um, yeah, this, but, is, this is where Jeremy could yeah. get going with the red jace. Um, I think he has collector in hand. He could discard two mm. magic carps. He could. He could warp have. <clears throat> oh, he has a warp energy. Okay, I thought that was a cycle energy for a second. That was my bad. So, in fact, th this is a uh, good now, play then. <laughs> yeah, now Jordan can't play any item cards with Sableye active. Oh yeah, that's right. And then I'll impersonate. Yeah. Oh, impersonate for the Felicities. Yep. Discarding two Magikarps Eight. and drawing four. Nine. All right, so now Gyarados is hitting for big 60 damage. Well, compared to now, that's not very big, but 60 damage for zero energy, that's pretty good. It means he only needs an extra belch or another pokey turn to kill a jump buff. Sorry, KO a jump buff. We we don't kill him, Pokemon. Oh, and there's oh. a judge. <laughs> I did something. My hand was yeah. terrible. Sorry, that was starting to build up really bad. But uh, did did Jordan have an an energy in hand? I probably no, would have. That deck only runs like tap five or six energy total. Six. Okay. I wanted the luxury out of my prizes gotcha. really bad. Yeah. But uh. Yeah, I, I guess Jordan could get an unknown Q to um get that Baltoy out of the active or just attach and retreat, but. Depending on what he draws, yeah, I think maybe we might see psychic balance. Attaching to the Uxie last last turn is going to set him back a turn or two. Yes, for sure. <clears throat> yeah, like uh, he could have had a little bit more explosive turn with eight cards in hand after draw if he um, did psychic balance, or seven cards in hand. Sorry, <clears throat> but now the. It is in Jeremy's court. Two and Felicities. Okay. Sound reasonable. <clears throat> All right. Now, what Jeremy could do here is he could attack with overconfidence with the expert belt with the i think with the special dark it would knock out right because yeah, exactly. it would do 40 plus 10 yep i think um yep there we go <clears throat> probably saving the expert belts yeah. for um later in the game um in order to take two consecutive knockouts while also preventing jordan from taking a knockout in return because with jump bluff it does 10 times the amount of energy or sorry not energy pokemon in play oh. on both sides <laughs> so it's hitting for a maximum of 120 damage before much damage modifiers and gyarados has 130 hp so with like a flash bite that's a knockout there, right? <laughs> but then with expert belt he would need two more damage modifiers to take a knockout and in a matchup where you are taking prizes, even just missing one knockout will uh, probably determine the game. Right, Jordan's been drawn dead thus far. <clears throat> I look forward to seeing him uh, hit something off these four, kind of get him rolling. He definitely needs to hit a clay doll here. Yes, for sure. Ugh. Ugh. Man, whiff, that's rough. The whiff central. Yep. I don't think he could... Uh... Yeah, this is pretty rough right now. Man, if that Gyarados gets going here and pops that Luxray, mm -hmm. he's going to be all in trying to hit Jump Bluff here. And he's yeah. going to fill his bench. And I don't know, it's not looking good for uh, Jordan here. Yeah, it's looking pretty sketchy right now. Um, yeah, I guess... Uh, what could he even do to, to get back? Maybe maybe go for the Kyrados and 
hope that Jeremy can't build another one. This is rough. Just got an expert belt. Interesting. Um, J Jimmy, how many expert belts do you run in that deck? Typically two. Typically two. But he does have one on the crowbat, so he could pokey turn it. Yes, he so could. So he does have access to that. Yep. Oh, okay. So then this is a three expert belt list then. Right. Got it. So the expert belt um, getting lost isn't that big of a deal. Um, you only really need one to swing, um, to swing the game as Gyarados. Right, I don't recall. Is Jump Buff in here uh, resistant to water? Um, I believe it's resistant to fighting. Fighting in this one? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> Turn? Yep. So now he gets the expert belt back. Got the expert belt back. Oh, he could actually put that on Uxie and pop the Lux Ray that way. Oh. Oh, oh, oh actually, he can't because of the unknown queue. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yep. okay. Yes, he has an unknown queue on it. <clears throat> One, two, three. Yep. All right, looks good. Um, Gyarados right now is hitting for 80. Um, able to knock out anything on Jordan's side. So, and it doesn't really look like Jordan can take a knockout in return. Jordan would need so many cards. I mean, for, definitely clay all at the very least. But I remember what they are. <laughs> oh man, Maybe this is rough. Is that a night maintenance C top deck? Oh, that is not what you wanna. That is not what we wanna be seeing as a top deck. But. I forgot about the HP. <clears throat> Yep, definitely yeah. want to be focusing on active because if he doesn't address this Gyarados right away, I I think Jeremy's gonna run away with the game. Well, he could pop Uxie here. He can get his hand down to none and mm -hmm. pop Uxie here. Get a fresh hand of seven cards. He's gotta hit Clay Dolls on these. If he doesn't hit Clay Dolls, the deck just doesn't function without continuously re re refreshing your hand. Yeah, exactly. He, he may also need to hit a Pokey Turn. Mm -hmm. As well to get that crowbat off, so he can set up a second jump buff. Yeah, for sure. I I don't know how many crowbats he runs, but I would I would probably actually maybe even consider not setting up a another jump bluff this turn because you have to one hit KO this. So maybe maybe if he ran a second uh, crowbat, I, I would probably would have liked to to uh, see that. I believe this is Steven Silvestro's list from Worlds that year. Okay. Um, so I'm pretty positive it maxes out with uh, four Poke turns. Okay. Got it. Ooh, that's a whole lot of. Well, I mean, it's something, but there's no clade all there. I don't know why he didn't lay the broken time space before he Uxied. Oh, he did? Oh. No. He could have also played the Night Maintenance. <laughs> Hmm. If I am okay, I I think that's a knockout. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Knockout. That's a knockout. So there's two. Sweet. We have Good drawn stuff. even. So everything that Jordan needed to set the second hop if, um, mm -hmm. happened for him in that turn, which which is great. Yes, for sure. And um, yeah. Sorry for my statement earlier. I forgot that <laughs> jump off also could run extra belt. So definitely setting up a second uh, jump left is the correct play here. Right. All right, so now it is on Jeremy to Jeremy's find a knockout. Big hand. Yep. And uh, Jordan used both judges already. I don't know how many that list runs, but uh, not being able to get Jeremy's hand down after a knockout. Yeah. Ideally, you want to be able to judge them and then knock out their only Gyarados in play to give them limited outs mm -hmm. to come back and uh, swing at you. But Jeremy's hand is huge. Rescue. Yep. Um. If Jeremy can somehow find another magic heart. Yeah, he's already got Gyarados in hand. Mm -hmm. So, but he doesn't have the broken time space. I I think he's yeah. yeah th he, there's he, a broken time does. space. Yeah. yeah. So, so if, if there was a way to get that, but he can only get to magic he can only get to eighty. Yeah, only get to eighty. Oh, while he jump is... bluff. He is ten off. 
Jeremy has ten off. He needs a pokey turn, or got to hit that fourth scoop up. He's only got one scoop but up left. Actually, I, I believe that Jeremy does have the knockout. Um. No, 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 no. He doesn't. Sorry. <clears throat> He still needs a third Magikarp in the discard. Yeah, he, needs, he definitely needs that. Mm. Yeah, this is... um. The 20 damage on the jump buff yeah. is offsetting... Is offsetting that expert belt, so he'd still have to do straight 90. Yes, for sure. I think... um. At this point, Jeremy is still a prize ahead. So even if Jordan does take this knockout here, um, Jeremy does have that one turn of breathing room in order to uh, set up another Gyarados. Mm, I think... I'd give up the Azelf, no? Yeah, I'd probably give up the Azelf as well. M maybe even Sableye at this point. I mean, a 40 HP Sableye, you're not, um, not going to be overconfident thing. But I guess you could... Um, use it for a supporter but i'm fairly certain he already has a crobat in the discard pile so he wouldn't be using that for rescue right maybe he just wanted to set the bench base i don't know why the lux ray didn't come down anticipating that ko yeah it's um there we go interesting but jeremy definitely needs to have a response here and i i do believe he does have it now Perhaps he's just trying to limit uh, Jump Buff's damage output by keeping his bench low. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. For yeah. sure. Rescue, not stretcher. Yeah. Stretch. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Finally. Finally. Oh, yeah, here we go. Uh -oh. Here we go. I didn't want to play my Oh, dude, I've been gripping like three of these all game. <laughs> <laughs> these guys. I don't know why they didn't lay that stupid card sooner. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Yep, and now Jeremy Just... does have the knockout. Well, no, he still needs energy, doesn't he? Energy? Is he um, just going to retreat the Uxie, or? Um, Uxie has a unknown Q, so it has. Um, okay, okay. Just retreat, retreat and attack the Gyarados. Yep. So for two. Okay, interesting, interesting. I'm not really sure what Jeremy is looking for. I, I, yeah, okay. I guess he was digging for the collector for the fourth uh, magic card. Magic crap, yeah. Yep. Might as well stand out other cards as well. Yep. Just get them all attached. Yep. I'll pr probably Sableye over the unknown G. Um, yeah. I don't believe G has any. Yeah. Any place in this matchup here. Yeah. It's pretty much useless here. Our known G is, um, was for Gengar, right? Yeah, I still can't believe that Jordan has not yet hit a clay doll. Yeah, it's pretty bewildering, especially considering how many um, Pokemon search he runs. But now Jeremy is up by one prize. By one yeah. prize. Jordan can come in and. Um, Tie it up. Yeah, another thing but... too that Jeremy could have done, he could have Poke turned the Crobat to keep, to keep to uh, keep Jordan's output at a hundred instead of hundred and ten. So now what he does is he gives the jump buff the option to drop an expert belt on it mm. uh, to knock out this Gyarados. Yes. Yes. He but could... if you scoop up that Crobat, you have no option of taking that knockout. Yes. Come yep. on, it definitely all. makes it uh, harder. Attach. Just knock out. Oh. Oh, uh, Roseanne's? Oh, oh that's rough. It's <laughs> awful. Is that for... I don't even know. Did, did a he second Uxie, both? maybe? No, I see a... I, I, think I, see, I think that's a clay doll in there, but... Oh, man. He has to just straight up draw the clay doll at this point, but... Oh, man. So I'm guessing it's only one Uxie. I mean, if there is a Claydol prize, you could get an Azelf. Yeah, you can get a Claydol and a prize if we're on the head. Oh, too bad. But, um, yeah. 
looking it's looking rough for Jordan right now. And uh, I don't know if if that deck if the jump puff deck does run more than two judge, uh, Jordan can. Uh, and that's why Jeremy's keeping that Uxy bench because he could have knocked out the jump puff last turn with the Uxy mm -hmm. uh, just by attaching an energy and attacking outright. Um, the bigger the bigger issue is if Jordan can if Jordan does have three judge in that deck, mm -hmm. he could judge and then knock out the Gyarados, and that may give him enough time. Assuming Jeremy draws bad, mm, yes, um, Jeremy would get four cards off the judge one off his draw, and then potentially look at two more with uh, with uh, Uxie level X mm -hmm. um, to try and hit an out, try and hit a supporter or whatnot to keep the game going. Uh, that's awful. Yeah, it makes sense. Oh, man. At this point, this is uh, looking pretty bad. Even yeah, if Jumpluff came in and Leaf Guarded, I think Jeremy has another way to just um, move the active and take a prize. So, but I still think that did, did uh, Jeremy get that third magic harp in the discard pile? It's not in the discard pile yet. Um, it's um in his hand. just in his hand. Yes. Okay. Um, he has no way to discard it, but sure he does. He could pokey turn the crowbat. Oh yes. Drop the reg ice. The reg ice, right? Yep. And, and discard them both, which would make more sense because you don't make taking a knockout on his elf here is futile in the matchup. So, um, get into Uxy, the Crobat, you know, or you could just, um, or you could do, or you that, could just do that, I guess. <laughs> you know, I, I think I'm just gonna say that this is extended DM. <laughs> yeah, I think he's just trying to extend <laughs> the game out here. Oh man. That Oxy's on fire. Oh yeah, for sure. Man, I remember when Oxy was like sixty bucks. Yeah, those uh, easily one of the better cards ever printed. That Dunsparce. Um, in my eyes, those are probably two of the best cards printed here. Oh yeah, for sure. The the, the hit and run Dunsparce, correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Definitely support. Yeah. I, I think it really speaks to, I guess, how how much the format has changed when that card gets reprinted, but just doesn't see any play. Right. You know, game has definitely changed. Yeah, it's funny. You try and play some of these older decks against some of the new decks today, it's a complete, oh. complete joke. It'll be a slaughter. Yeah. I mean, even uh, even in a uh, Oh, no. I think Jeremy's going to win here. Uh-oh. Yep. Here we go. Yep. Looks like it. And then um, he has another turn. turn. Yep, to get the reg ice. Um, it won't move the jump fluff, but it can get the last magic card from the discard. So, yep. GG, buddy. GGs. Well played, Jeremy. All right. Well played. Good and games, guys. That was uh, a good, quick two games. Uh, at the end, yeah. Just attacking the. After the the uh, as elf at the end for 60. We didn't see that he was going to try and take both prizes at the same time, which we thought he could have just taken that knockout yeah. the turn before and just played it one one prize per turn. Mm -hmm. um, instead, he chose to take them two at once for for uh, he, he wanted to get some premier points there. I'll take two at one time. Yeah, it makes sense. And and I guess it would be safer, especially since it would be. Um, there isn't really a way to, to take the damage off the Oz Elf, so... Right. Hey, Jordan. Yeah. Check to make sure that deck has Claydol. <laughs> yeah, we couldn't see it. Man, you could... Don't that deck run four babies, too? And a luxury ball, and you see none of them. Yeah, like... Wow. And comms or something, like... Yeah. Coming like, up next on Top Cut too Network. Bad, too bad. Teaching Jordan to shuffle. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, we're going to get on to uh, all right. round two. We got some there more people go. here to join us. So we will uh, move it on over and get two new commentators and two new players at the table. There we go. Be back in a few minutes. Uh,